<laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, we've reached the grid, which is the highest point. If you have any questions, right above my head is actually the ceiling of the building. Okay? Like if we walked out one of these hatches, which we could look at, we're not gonna. We walked out one of those hatches, you could get on the roof. Don't do that. So, uh, to talk about a few more of the parts and pieces. We've been referencing this pulley system the entire time we've been talking about this, and now we can actually see them. Okay, so let's start actually over here. Sorry, I know it gets dark. So, if we look at the ropes, as we've been discussing them, they run all the way down to the grid. This is our loading bridge that we spoke about earlier. And if we go up here, this is called the head block, okay? So, all of the cables, ropes, and everything run through our head block, okay? Then they shoot across and move to various sizes of cloth blocks, okay? There's some technical terms for all of them, but for this class, we probably don't need to go into all the nuts and bolts. Just know that the big wheel on top that controls the arbor and takes most of the load is called the head block. Because we don't name things complicated in theater, the beam that holds up the head block is called the head beam, okay? What this does is holds all the weight of this entire system. That's why that is a massive piece of structure, right? So, from the head block, we move out to the first block, the loft block, okay? And in our system, we have six loft blocks, okay? This will vary depending on the size of your theater and what you're doing. Okay, some of them will get up to seven, nine. I think the biggest I've ever seen was 11, but that was a really wide theater and a little excessive. But five to seven is about normal, okay? So all of these cables that run through the top of the arbor run through each of these loft blocks. This is called a multi-line shiv. Just know it as a loft block. I'm just gonna say the name. Because uh, it has a lot of different lines inside this wheel. It's a whole hand size. We'll get a picture later. But as we move across, we go to a loft block, right? Which has a single pivot point, and then all these other cables run across, right? Just on the side, they have weight. You could probably do a pull up on here. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could, okay? So when we're up here, there's a few things to think about in safety. One, we're really high in the air, and we're fortunate. At this university, this is a sidewalk. Normally when you come up here, you have ribbon steel. It's three inches across and about a two inch gap in between each one up to four inches. You're not gonna hurt yourself on that. You can walk on it like it's a normal floor, okay? This is actually a normal floor. The only part that you really have to be concerned about is what we call moon bays or moon holes, okay? And they're just the areas where the cables from the lock blocks drop down and connect with the pipe, which we're gonna look at here in a moment. So these have to be here so that the cables can actually run through, okay? And run all the way to the grid. So when you're up here, the biggest thing to think about All is the way to the grid? don't step through the hole, okay? When we're talking about ribbon steel, which I can show you a picture of here in a second, ribbon steel, you just want to keep your feet perpendicular to the ribbons, okay? If you walk like this, like you're trying to walk down a mountain, you're going to twist an ankle eventually. If you're wearing good shoes and you walk perpendicular, you're fine most of the time, okay? Um, these holes are not unsafe in any way. You just have to pay attention to what you're doing and be comfortable up here as you're doing it. Once again, being a little scared of something is good in this scenario because the people who run up here like this is a sidewalk, they're the ones that hurt themselves. The people who take a little more time and are a little more cautious about what they're doing, they get to be able to see and do things more safely, okay? So just a few more touches on things to talk about up here. When we're talking about lines, each one of these is a line, um, it's hard to figure out what they are a lot of time for people. Um, and everything's in correlation to the head block. If head block is the home, right, we work off the head block. So if I ask you what is the shortest line in the line set system, or I ask you to label it, because I probably will, the first line that comes off the head block is called short short, okay? It's called short short because we have a lot of lines that go on here. If this was a three loft block system, we would have a short, we would have a mid, and we'd have a long, right? In this system, we have short, 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 mid, and so on and so forth, until we get to long, long, all the way down at the end, okay? And sometimes there's even numbers and things like that, and that gets a little different, but that's the basic idea. 
right? Most of the time they're odd numbers. <laughs> but yeah, we'd have short, 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 mid, 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 long, 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 probably be best here. The mids are a little weird because they're even, but they work. Okay, the last thing I really want to talk about up here, um, because the wind is deafening me today, is these wonderful things. If you see these long black shafts right here sitting throughout the entire stage, um, those are motorized line sets. In our scenario, we hang a few, uh, we reserve a few line sets for the sole purpose of working with electrics. And because electrics do a lot of weight and a lot of stuff quickly and often, it's just easier to have a motorized way of an option. It's a safer tool because we're not going, load 1,200 pounds onto that line set, right? It's just a little cleaner, a little more high tech, and honestly, a lot of the time safer. The biggest downside of the mechanical stuff is it's normally fixed speed. It's slow, okay? So we don't ever use those to move in a show, except for really rare, odd circumstances where it's okay. Um, we pull the ropes because we control the speed. I've actually had a director look at me and go, can you pull that rope more like romantically? Meaning they wanted it to come in gently and soft, okay? Versus guillotine, go fast. Okay. I think that about covers it up here. The biggest thing to know up here is, once again, be safe, pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, we will come in here and manually hang things occasionally through these. Um, it doesn't happen a lot these days, but it can happen. So it's good to understand how to be comfortable and safe up here. Let's go back down to the deck and talk about uh, what makes all these connections.